Hi, it's a guy somewhere. Today I'll be showing you how to track affiliate marketing conversions when using Bing Ads as your traffic source. So for this example, I'll be using the BMOP Click Tracker and the Pearfly Affiliate Marketing Network. Let's get started. So here I've set up an empty BMOP account just for the sake of creating tutorials. I've also already set up the Pearfly Affiliate Network. So it's, you can see it here. I've set up the Bing traffic source. So actually to create those is quite simple and beam up. You just go to affiliate network, click new from template. There's, 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 a, link of, uh, there's a list of already done templates. So here it's Pearfly, you just click Pearfly. Nothing to do here, you just click save. And it's same thing for, um, for Bing. It's the same thing, you just click new from template, select Bing, then save. So now what we need to do is actually select an offer and create an offer in BMOB. So let's go to my Perfly account and look for an offer that we can promote using search traffic. So I'm going to click Browse Offers. I'm, I'm going to select Search Traffic. I will be selecting a US offer. And uh, yeah, I like download offers, so let's look for a download offer. What do we have in the list? Um, yeah, Windows PC repair. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, the landing page looks nice. So let's create a, an offer for this one. So I'm going to go back to BMO, but first, I'm going to copy the, um, the offer name so I can use it as the offer name in BMOB as well. So in BMOB I click the offer tab, then I click new. So the offer is PC repair, the country is US, the affiliate network is Pearfly, and now we need to create the URL. So back to the offer page, and then I'm going to type some rubbish in this first text box here. So we have we have a, a URL which is almost complete. So I can paste it there. Remove what I typed. I'm going to click on click idea here. So that's done. So actually, what is uh, what, what is going to do is that when BMOB redirects a user to this URL, it's going to automatically generate a unique click identifier inside BMOB and it will be appended to the URL. So later, if a conversion happens, then BMOB will know that the conversion is linked to the specific link, so the specific uh, visit to the page. So we have the URL. Now we need also to set up the postback URL in our affiliate network. So I'm going to copy the postback URL here, and I'm going to set it up in Pearfly. So going back to Pearfly and Pearfly, it's located at the top right corner of the screen. You just click Tools and then set a pause back. And you paste your pause back URL here. So when conversions will occur, then Pearfly will just access this URL and it will specify the click ID that was used and the commission amount so that the, all this it can all be tracked in your tracker. So I'm going to submit this. I'm going to go back to the offer page. And uh, I haven't saved the offer yet in uh, BMOB, so, uh, so let's save it. So now we have the offer. But in order to get the link from Mimab, we, we need to create a campaign for this offer. So let's create one. So I'm clicking new. I'm going to use the same name for the campaign. So the traffic source is going to be Bing. The country is the US. And we're almost done. Here, we have an, an option to track the, the costs, but currently Bing is not able to send the, the click cost 
to the, the, the affiliate marketing tracker. So I'm going to use do not track here and we are not going to be tracking costs inside BMOP. If we were using another traffic source like pop ads, pop cash or another, then most of the time those traffic sources are able to send the, the click amount, the click cost to the tracker. But currently it's not the case for Bing. So we're just going to select do not track and we'll not be tracking the cost inside BMOB. So in order to finish the campaign, I need to tell BMOB to which offer it should point to. So I'm going to select built-in built -in flow. We're not going to be using a landing page. We're going to do direct linking. So I'm going to unselect landings and I'm going to click on add offer here and select the offer that we just created. And then I just need to save. Now I'm getting a list of uh, links. So we have the campaign URL, the campaign test URL. The only difference between the two is that if I use the campaign test URL, BMOB is not going to track any statistics inside the tool itself, inside BMOB. Uh, so I can do testing myself just to check that the link is working and I will not pollute my tracker with rubbish data. And then or when we create the actual campaign in Bing, we're going to use the real campaign URL here. But just to check that uh, the link is working, I'm going to check the campaign test URL in a new tab. So because I'm not located in the US and this is a US offer, so I'm going to use um, a US VPN. Okay, I'm connected to a VPN in the US. So I should be able to view the landing page so let's try the, the test link. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, we can see the offer landing page. So I'm going to keep the root URL of the, of the offer page for later because we'll uh, need it in Bing. But we can already see that the link is working fine. So that's okay. So now let's go to Bing and create a campaign for this offer that we created in our tracker. So now going to my uh, Bing Ads account, I'm going to create a campaign. So I'm going to click create campaign here. What's the goal of this campaign? Well, it's not really relevant here, so I'm, I can just click visit to my website. It doesn't make any difference anyway. Okay. Enter. I'm going to enter a name for my campaign. So let's get things simple. Uh, I'm going to name it Test BFY Campaign. I'm going to leave all the settings to default. Uh, yeah, uh, location. So we're going to choose a specific location because this is a US campaign. So I'm going to select the United States. So I'm targeting the US. I'm going to unselect this checkbox here, people searching for or viewing pages about your targeted locations, because I don't want people from outside the US looking for information about the US to see my ads. I don't want people in the UK looking for if I could, to, to set up, for example, a vacation in California. I don't want those people in London to, to see my, my ad. I just, want, I just want people located in the US to see my ad. So that would be those people here, but not those people there. So we're okay. And now I want people, I want English speakers only to see my ads. So we can save and go to the next step. Okay, now we need to enter the website URL. So we have it here. So we can just paste it. And now based on this URL, Bing is uh, creating a, a list of keyword suggestions. So we can just use it. Uh, yeah, driver support seems okay. So I have a list of keywords in an, an ad group. So I can just save and go to the next step. In order to save this campaign, we need to create an ad. So I'm going to create a dummy ad quite quickly. So the final URL 
as this page, we can just disregard the URL attributes. And then let's write some texts for the ad. So uh, free PC repair to protect your PC and remove malware. I'm just going to write this product your PC and remove malware with our free tool. Okay, so we have a dummy ad here. You can just save it. Then I'll go to the bottom of the page, click save and go to the next step. We're good, I can just save here. Okay, so now the campaign is created. I can now uh, input the campaign link inside the, the Bing Ads interface. So I'm, I'm going to copy the, the BMOB link here, the link to my campaign. So it's copied. I'm going back to Bing Ads. And in Bing Ads, uh, the, the, um, this URL needs to be pasted in the campaign setting page. So I'm going to select my campaign. Now I'm, uh, I'm in the campaign page. I'm going to click the settings tab. And at the bottom of the page, you will see uh, campaign URL options section here and in this section you just need to click on tracking templates and this is where you paste your link and I think that we will need to add uh, a URL parameter because I think it's not inserted by default by bmob so let's try to save it anyway and see what we get yeah tracking templates must reference your landing page URL LP URL or another landing page parameter. So we're going to have to use this one and paste it at the end of the URL. So let's do that. So I'm adding the parameter here. So we've added that and normally it should be okay. Okay, so now we're good. Now what's going to happen is that any ad click for this campaign is going to be actually redirected to the bmob link what the, the the page that people will see at the end is going to be the, the the offer page the landing page but the the link that is actually going to be used to send the users to this page is this link here and as we have already tested this link we know that it, uh, we know that it works so we should be okay and that's how you set up uh, conversion tracking in Bing for affiliate offers. I'm also going to uh, include uh, some more detailed explanations. So if you want to, to know how it works in detail, so stay tuned. Uh, else you can stop the video here. And if you liked it or, uh, or find, found it interesting, so don't hesitate to like or subscribe. And uh, if you have questions or if you would like to request another tutorials, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I've created a short presentation to explain you in more details how the conversion mechanism works. So let's say that you have a user here who sees your ad in Bing Ads and decides to click it. So this is your main action here. I'm using uh, blue arrows for those. So the user clicks your ad. Then what happens? Because we have set up a tracking link, a tracking template in Bing Ads, and it's a BMOB link, so Bing Ads knows that it has to redirect the user to the BMOB link. So it redirects the user to BMOB. So BMOB receives the link, and then what does BMOB do? BMOB then creates a click ID for this for this click on the BMOB link and redirects the user to the, to the offer page. So the click ID should, could be anything like one, two, three, four, five, six, let's say. 
And now we have the user redirected to this page, so the user sees the, um, the landing page and is free to, to install the software. So now let's say that the user converts and actually decides to install the software. So you get yourself a conversion and you're going to be paid. So now what's going to happen is that the web page is actually working with your affiliate network. In our example, it's Pearfly. So the web page is going to contact Pearfly and tell Pearfly that a conversion just happened with this click ID, so one, two, three, four, five, six, because Beamob has sent the click ID to the offer page, because we you remember we set up the click ID in the Pearfly URL that the offer page receives. So the offer page knows the click ID and it also knows that you got a conversion. So but it doesn't know Beamob, it, it's just working with Pearfly. So it's sending information to Pearfly saying, oh, hey Pearfly, I just got a conversion with click ID 123456 with a conversion value of 225. So now Pearfly has the information. Then what does happen? Because we have set up the postback URL in Pearfly, Pearfly can contact Beamob through that postback URL and say, hey Beamob, I have a conversion for click ID 123456, uh, the value of which is $225. And that's how your conversion gets tracked in Beamob.